is a yes or no. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi, Hi. Hi. how are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How's everybody? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. Excellent. Hi. Let's see. So we got Patty, Norma, Elizabeth, Walter, Carlos, James, Noemi, Elmer. Hi, Elmer. Daniel, Mary, Linda, Mirna, Anna. Very good. All right. Very good. So everybody, welcome to class. Remember that this is the class, the last class for this week. And after this, we will have yes. two more weeks and then this yes. level is going to be finished. Okay. So we better get going. All right. So we have yesterday. Well, teacher. Excuse me. We are finished the, the, the class. We will finish the class. I will tell you. Hold on. Yeah. We will finish the class on Thursday, October 5th. Okay. October okay, uh, no, October 3rd. I'm sorry. October 3rd. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. Okay. October Can 3rd. you guys double check for me? All right. Yeah, October 3rd. Yes. That's when we will finish. So after today's okay. class, we have two more weeks and we're done. Okay? Okay. okay. All right. Very good. So All let's right. get to work here. Yesterday, we were talking about indirect questions. That's right? Yeah. That's right. Okay. Very good. So. Yeah, teacher. All right. So we have this right here. In uh, direct and indirect questions. So let's get going here. So we have. What do you guys remember about this topic from yesterday? Hi, Ramiro. Hi. If. What do you remember? Yesterday we talked about uh, WH questions, direct questions, and we also talked about yes, no, direct questions. Okay. Yes. Okay, so if I say, for example, um, eh, let me see, Ramiro, I say, hey, Ramiro, where is Elmer? Okay, that's the direct question, okay? Now, how would you, how would I ask you in an indirect form? Ramiro, how can I ask you the same question in the indirect form? Could you tell me? Uh -huh. Could you tell me where Elmer is? That's right. Very good. Well done. All right. So my direct question is, where is Elmer? All right. My indirect question, I say, can you tell me? All right, um, so we say, could you tell me or do you know where Elmer is, okay? Acuérdese que pasamos el is al final de la pregunta, okay? En el caso que usamos el is o el are, en todo caso. If I say, Noemi, um, where does... Um, Jennifer Acosta work. Okay, that's direct question. Can you switch it to indirect? Indirect. <laughs> uh, repeat the, the, the sentence. The question is where does Jennifer work that Jennifer? Sorry, where does Only. Jennifer work? Work. Ah. Uh. Uh, could you tell me what Jennifer the work is? Mm, no, 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 no. Concentrate, no, Emisita. Concentrate. All right. Listen to my question, Nomi. My question is, where does Jennifer work? En ningún momento estoy incluyendo el is. Si el is no va en mi forma directa, tampoco va en su forma indirecta. Okay. I say okay. where. Does Jennifer work? Okay, it is. Um, uh, could you t could you tell me where mm -hmm. uh, does 
No, remember yeah. that no no auxiliary. Oh, okay. Uh, could you tell me where does no, no auxiliary? Perdón. Could you tell me uh, where uh, Jennifer work? Work or works? Works. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. It's because works. I'm talking about Jennifer, I need the singular. Uh, verb okay so could you tell me where jennifer works okay works yeah yes, that's right okay very good if i say for example james are you there james james are you there no okay uh daniel mendez are you there yes I am. Ah, excellent okay daniel i will ask you a question about roxana okay i will say um Daniel, where did Roxana learn English? How could I ask the question okay. in the indirect form? Repeat again, please. Yes, where did Roxana learn English? Okay, I would like to know where Roxana learned English. English. Excellent. Very good, James. So I would like to know where Roxana learned simple past English. Very good. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see who else I have here. Um, Glenda Morales, are you there? Glenda, no. Mirna, what about Mirna? Hi. Hi, Mirna. Okay, listen to my direct question and I want you to switch it to indirect, okay? What time, um, what time do we have classes? Can you do it in indirect form? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Hola. The direct question is, what time do we have classes? That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What would it be? Anybody, could you tell me when do we have classes? How can we ask that in the indirect form? Do you know? Uh huh. Do you know what time? No, do you not? Do you know what we time? No, what time classes? it was okay. Do you know what time it's okay? Do you know? Try it again. Time. Do you know what time we uh -huh. have classes? We have classes. Oh, yeah. uh, we have. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, we are, we under, are we understanding this topic or is it very difficult for you guys? No, it's difficult. Only it's a little confused. Ah, all right. What about Norma? Is it okay for you, Norma Campos? I I think being a little confused. Okay, okay. But what what confuses you, Norma? I I. What is confusing for you? Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Remember that you have to omit the auxiliary on mm. the indirect questions. If you omit that means that you need the if your if your indirect question is in simple present and you omit the uh, auxiliary if your sentence is in third person singular you need to add the s if in your direct question you're as you're using did all right as like for example what what did you do yesterday Okay, so in the indirect question, we omit the auxiliary and we use the verb in simple past. Okay? Okay, okay. So you need to remember that. 
whenever the auxiliary is in simple present or simple past, when we switch it to indirect questions, we don't use the auxiliary anymore. Okay. 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 And remember okay. that we also said yesterday that there are some specific phrases like this. Mm -hmm. All right, you can yes. use this one. Could you tell me? Do you know? I was wondering. Do you have any idea? I like to know. Would it be possible? Is there any chance? Yesterday, we also talked about yes, no questions. For example, um, uh, did we have, did we have class yesterday? Anybody ask me that in indirect question. Did we have class yesterday? Yes, we have two class. Yeah, no, but I want you to ask I want you to ask me the same question using indirect question. I was wondering if we have classes yesterday. If we had classes yesterday, very good. We had. Okay, very good. Okay. Uh, guys, we need to practice this para que se nos quede y que ya no se vuelva tan confuso. Practice it, okay? So can you take a picture of this right now? Hold on. Uh, okay. Give me a second. Oh my goodness. Oops. Can you take a picture of this right now, please? Get it, please. What's up? Finish? No, teacher. Oh. Yeah. 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 Everybody's done? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So um, go to your groups, okay? And I want you, like, together with your partner, I want you to think of other uh, other possibilities using indirect questions remember you may use the phrases do you know can you tell me would you tell me or i don't know all the other phrases that we were talking about okay all right okay. so go to your groups right now i'm going to stop sharing my screen i want you to go to your groups and work on that exercise when you finish that exercise we're going to come back to the main group. We will check the answers and then I will give you another exercise. We need to practice it, okay? Okay. All right. Hello, Norma, Walter. Ahorita puedo oh. demandar. Alex, Emi, Esmeralda. Patricia, Alex Aguilera, que la voy a trabajar sola, teacher. Why, Pati? 
<laughs> because I'm not sure with the work. Oh, but that's okay. You can join the group and they can help you. Mm. I try. Okay, all right. Walter, no se me salga que le acabo de mandar a alguien para que trabaje con ustedes. ¿Qué Pati no se había unido al grupo? Walter, regrese, que ya le mandé a alguien. Walter, ¿me escucha? Eh, sí, le escucho. ¿En cuál opción? Ahí regreso. Ah, ahí sí, no sé. <ríe> Es que se me salió en el, en el momento que se estaba mandando Alex a trabajar con usted. Sí, es que según yo, nadie... Es que Pati iba a estar ahí, pero ya no va a estar en el grupo. O sea, no se unió al grupo, pero no hay, no hay problema. Eh, y le acaba de mandar a Alex, pero no sé. Alex, ¿me escucha? Ah, Alex, ok, ¿sabe qué voy a hacer? Eh, ¿Sí? oh, espérame, Walter, ¿cómo usted se salió? Uh -huh. A ver, Walter, lo voy a mover a un grupo y lo voy a volver a mover, oye. Okay. Para que esté con Alex. Tal vez Alex no se desespera cuando esté solo. Ok. ¿Le salió la invitación al grupo 2? ¿Al grupo? No. Nada. No, nada. Si quiere, una met. Sí, sí, para. Lo que pasa no es que usted. Usted tendría que estar, Pati, en el grupo que estaba Walter. Solo tendría que darle clic a la invitación. No sé si le apareció la invitación por ahí, Pati. Ya se me perdió. Aquí. Hay una opción que dice unirse a sesión de grupos pequeños. Ah, Ajá, pero, Ajá. pero ya no la tengo. Eh, dice en el room back. back. Scout Room 10. Ajá. Eso le sale a usted. Rey. Ya se salió Alex. Sí. Ya se salió Alex. Quédense en este oh, grupo trabajando los tres. Good evening. Hi, Alex. Hi, I'm sorry, I'm late. No, don't worry about it. Alex, Patricia, and Walter, que ya que están los tres afuera, que eran uh -huh. los tres que tenían que estar en el grupo 10, trabajen aquí ahorita. Ok. All right. Thank you okay. so much. Igual okay. más we do. Is there? Do you is know? There, cuando es it's there. Ajá, eso quería saber. Cuando es, es it's there. La, es el yes. que cuesta. La yes, no question. Ahí le pone if. Excellent, Ramiro. Ajá. Es que como el señor Elmer nos ha abandonado. No diga eso, sí. teacher. Me como una semana no ha venido. De, eh, teacher. Hola. Eh, en esta pregunta podríamos decir... Porque está oscuras, Elmer. <risas> porque no tengo compu. Ah, ok. Dele, dígame. <risas> eh, si, si utiliza el if, yo lo usaría. Do you know if there anywhere here is? Do you know if, if there, there any is water any water? Here? No, if there is any water. Is there is any water he, here? Mm -hmm. uh, do you know if there is any That's water right. here? That's okay. right. Ah, is, okay. there an, is there any water? If there is any water here. Ajá, oh, entonces no. prácticamente eh, ahí se te puede utilizar de could you tell me eh, there is any water here? Pero necesita el if, eh, Elmer. Ah, if, ah, ok. Uh, antes de, Cuando, de la I. Antes de la I. Sí. Ah, ok. If. Um, rápido, rápido le agarro, teacher. No, of course, en el aire. Acuérdese que cuando sea yes, no questions, Elmer, siempre va ah. el if. Ah, ok. Cuando son Entonces, yes, no questions. Aquí, aquí eh, do you have any idea if he is coming tomorrow? For example, in the fourth. Uh, do you have any idea if he is coming tomorrow? Uh -huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's right. How do you say bea in English? 
<risa> How do you say uh, Vea, vea que sí. Vea que sí. Uh -huh. sí. <risa> do you... Teacher, y, yes, y, y, and, and do they like swimming? Is your... Is, Yes, no question. That's right. Do they like swimming? Yeah, because Teacher. the answer is going to be yes or no. Yes? Uh, I, uh, for example, that. Uh, do, do you, I like to know how many cars she has. Excellent, El Mercito. Oh, yeah, ma. my goodness. Ahí está. Papa, sí, teacher, ya. Ya le voy a ir agarrando. I love to I, I like to know they like swimming. Uh -huh. If they like swimming, no se le olvide el if. If they like ah el if. Cuando es yes no question, teacher is uh, where, where is a, a, a when question. Your, is, when your answer is yes or no, when you don't have wh questions, Elmer. Ah. When you have where, why, how, who, which why they are wh questions because uh -huh. if I say, for example where are you usted may say yes may say oh i am in my house uh, okay. si yo le digo do you live in san marcos you say yes i live in san marcos uh, ah, right? yeah. so wh questions y yes no questions o yes, sea las no que questions. se pueden contestar las que se pueden contestar con sí o no esas son las que llevan el if ajá Vea que sí, de, así se le entiende. Ajá. Ajá. Y esta what, por, por ejemplo, ya no es, eh, ya no es sí o no. No, no, ya es WH question. Ajá, entonces w allí de, eh, por ejemplo, do you know what she want? Ajá. Vea. O sea, cuando están enojadas las ajá, cuando están enojadas las mujeres. She What wants. she wants. Okay. Ahí le falta una know. palabra, pero no es de esta clase, vea. Do you tell me she what she wants? Se da risa, va a dar. Difícil. What she wants. I want. try to I try I try to discover it. Okay. <laughs> bueno, volvamos a lo que te cuesta, Ramiro. Ay, oh, excuse me. Okay. Is, is, is there anywhere? He... No, es que estábamos hablando de eso, teacher, cuando usted llegó. Ah. Ah, ah okay. sí, es que acaban sí. ya identificamos. We identify yes or no question. Excellent, ah, Ramiro. Yes or no question, sí. we use. Ve que tiene buenos alumnos, teacher. Oh, Me course. extraña. Por eso I don't change my group. Ajá. Por favor, no vaya a cambiar, teacher. Porque en la medida de lo posible vamos a seguir. He estado en unas reuniones allí, teacher. Por eso he faltado realmente. Ajá, he dormido, ah, en un nuevo estado. proyecto. Ah, no, en un nuevo proyecto, teacher. Uh -huh. En serio, sí, en serio, en serio. Yo dije, oh, no, él me da en love me anymore. No, no, no. ¿Cómo va a creer esa...? Esa es un sacrilegio, ¿no? Mm. Ah. Muy calor, Ramiro, muy calor. La cambiaste. No, Ajá. no, nunca. Te había cambiado. Ramiro, he went to another group. Never in my life, le dije yo, y esa es promesa. Pero tenía los dedos cruzados. No, no, no tengo los dedos cruzados, en serio. No, no. All right, very good. Let's... Okay, teacher. So you Thank finished, you. right? Thank you. Yeah, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, very good. Voy a revisar un grupo más y volvemos al grupo grande, okay? Okay. okay. Only she has okay. only one she car. Only... One car. Los otros son de los novios. Está bien. She has only car. Only one car. Allá no utilizaríamos este el plural de car, sino que nada más she has only car, car. Only one, one, de uno. Only one car. Si dijéramos plural, dijéramos she has only cars, cars. Pero como okay. one, she has only one car. Very good, Ana, nice. 
You guys are good. All right, finished? Um, almost? Uh, almost, uh, we have uh, uh, two. <laughs> two more Five. questions. Uh -huh, yes. More questions. Yes, only two. Okay. Do they like streaming? Streaming. Do you know if do do you know if they like streaming? Tomorrow is. Soy bien raro, verdad? Hi, Alex. Hi, Glenda. Hi. 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 How are you? Are you finished? Uh, no. No. What really happened? <laughs> what number are you working on right now? Right now, we are going to do number four. Okay. So, it's a uh, yes, no I, question. Yes, I was thinking about, uh, I was wondering mm -hmm. if, if he mm -hmm. come, coming tomorrow. If he is, is coming tomorrow. No. If he His is coming asked, tomorrow. Yeah, if, they are, if you're talking about yes, no questions, Alex, you change, I mean, you add if. Okay, and then yes. the subject, and then the verb be. Ah, okay. If, if it is yes, is. no questions. Yes, uh, the correct sentences is if he is coming tomorrow. Mm -hmm. If he is coming tomorrow. That's right. Okay. Is if, if he is coming tomorrow. Okay. If he is coming tomorrow, he's coming tomorrow. Yes, mm -hmm. I get it. Um, yes, because if you put is at the end, yeah, it sounds funny. Very well, very well. Very weird, yeah. Weird, yes. <laughs> okay, we are going to do number five. Okay. Yes. Uh, how many cars does she have? Okay. Um, Glenda. Negative. How many eh, cars does she have? Eh, um, por favor, por favor. Yeah. Um, Sería. Eh, I. No. Eh, uh, do you know? No. Eh, and, and no. Um, do, would it be possible? To know for how many cars does she have? Uh -huh. Glenda, uh, Glenda, try finish doing it, please. Do you know how many cars she have? She have? She have is? No. ¿Y por qué le va a poner is ahí? No hay is. Um, she has. Excellent. She has. She has. Yes, because it's the third. Third person mm -hmm. singular. Excellent. Very mm -hmm. good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do they like swimming? Uh huh. No, me. <laughs> okay. No. O sea, eh, es que pensé que podíamos. Teacher, y podríamos haber usado a no in how many cars does she have? You want to use enough. Enough. Ajá. Pero en qué momento, no, O sea, no entiendo. ¿A dónde quiere uh -huh. agregar eso? Como enough podemos usarlo en contable no contable. negativas, ajá. Ajá. Pero, ah, como, pero están contables. Pero sí, en sí. este caso cambiaría todo el contexto de la pregunta. Se puede mm. preguntar, ella tiene suficientes carros, does she have enough cars? Pero su respuesta va a ser sí o no. Yes, ma'am. Right. Okay. Okay. O sea, la I puede understand. cambiar a enough, pero cambia como que todo el sentido de la, de la pregunta, ¿verdad? Es, yes. otro tipo, es otra pregunta al final. Ok. Uh -huh. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ok. Do they like swimming? ¿Cómo nos queda esa? Do they like swimming? Um, quiero ver. I was wondering. Ajá. Uh, they, if, 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 if they like swimming. Excellent. Yes. Uh, Repeat, here, please. 
uh, what was the first question I was wondering? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. They like swimming. If they like swimming, Alex. Sorry, if they yeah, like uh -huh, swimming. Uh -huh. You cannot forget the if. Yes, uh, in these sentences, we uh, omit to and we are if. There That's is... right. Yeah, because they are yes, no questions. Yes. Okay. Glendita, you understand? Esa no, no entendí. Okay, remember that in this case, Glenda, do they like swimming? It's a yes, no question. Mm -hmm. If it is a yes, no question, Glenda, you have to omit do and add if. If. Right. Uh -huh, if. So mm -hmm. you say, I was wondering if, no do, they like swimming. Sustituyo el do, el do, do for, if. For, for if. En el caso que fuese, does Alex like swimming? You have to say, do you know if Alex likes like. Or if he likes, ¿verdad? Pero nombre o nombre no, no hace diferencia. So I was wondering if he likes swimming. ¿Por qué likes? Porque como Miguel das. ¿Verdad? Es tercera persona. Es tercera persona singular, presente simple. Sí. ¿Ya? Plus one, perfecto. Exacto, casi que llegamos a ese algo. Pero sí me entiende, Glendita. Eh, en el último ejemplo, cuando es tercera persona, ahí me perdí con el... Ok, eh, en lugar de decir, vaya, tenemos la, en este caso tenemos do they like swimming, ¿cierto? Entonces, Correct. cuando la cambiamos a forma indirecta, me va a quedar I was wondering, o cualquier otra frase que usted quiera usar, if, quitamos el do, they like they swimming. Like swimming. Pero estamos hablando de Alex y le pregunto, Glenda, ¿usted sabe o yo quisiera saber si a Alex le gusta nadar? Entonces yo le pregunto, Glenda, I was wondering if, como en mi, en mi pregunta directa dijera, does he like swimming? Ok, en mi pregunta, does he, era, does he ¿verdad? Uh -huh. En presente simple. Does he like swimming? Ahora, en el indirecta le dijera yo, I was wondering if, en lugar de does, he, y como le quité el does, pongo el like, pero le agrego la S para hacer el verbo singular. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Swimming. Swimming. He no. He like swimming, no. Like swimming. Uh -huh. Teacher, yes. prácticamente aquí lo que tenemos que tener bien claro es este, la composición de los verbos. Que right. siempre será persona, pasado. Porque en el caso, eh, Alex y las niñas, si dijera, did he, por ejemplo, did he pasado. like swimming, es pasado. Cuando la paso a indirecta, yo le digo, Glenda, do you know if they liked swimming? El like con... recibe el, el tiempo real, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, como, de... mi, ajá, de, como mi primera pregunta, uh -huh. o mi, mi, mi pregunta directa es, ¿Did they like swimming? Entonces, al hacerla indirecta, digo, ¿Do you know if, en lugar de did, they, pero necesito el verbo en pasado, like swimming? Sí. ¿Me entienden? Sí, es de manejar el, el, los tiempos. Los tiempos. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Vamos a ir al grupo grande, lo vamos a revisar. No es mi cita que pasa ahí en su casa ahora. <risa> Ay, que están chuchas, me han vuelto loca usted. Ay, no. Ay, ni la no, eh. no, mentira. Ok, vamos a regresar al grupo y vamos a revisar y la, lo voy a volver a mandar para seguir practicando porque no hay otra forma. Ok. Right. Gracias. Possibility. Hello, hello. Uh, hello. Hello. All right, guys. Uh, let's. Hi, hi. Eh, 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 Xiomara, right? Hello. Hi, how are you? Fine. 
Good, nice to have you in class. Okay, so let's check this together. I'm gonna show you the answers and I want you to um, see if this is what you have, okay? So these were the uh, questions and you had to change it. You had to change them to indirect questions, okay? So number one, where is the nearest bank? And then you can say, could you tell me? Probablemente la frase de inicio fue, okay, pero la demás tendría que estar igual. Could you tell me yeah. where the nearest bank is? Thank okay? you. It's okay? It's okay. It's okay. Excellent. Okay. Number two. Do you know why that little baby is crying? Okay. What happened, Ramiro? Teacher, in that case, I, I in that case, uh, the baby is crying. Why the verb to be is before to crying and not at the end? The question. Let me answer because it's a verb in action, natural verb. Why is that little baby crying? Do you know why the little baby is crying? Porque es el, es, de hecho es un presente continuo. Correcto. Ay. Porque es un gerundio, vea, tía. Ya, es presente continuo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so no, 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 before, mm -hmm. before yes. the verb that is not just the verb be, yes. it's the present continuous, yes. Jennifer. Continuous. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. All right. Yes. Next one. Do you know if. Yes? yes? Do you know if. Carlos, you had a question? Uh, yes, we ha I, I have the different the answers. Okay. Because I, I, I have the number two. I like to know. Sí, acuérdese que las frases de inicio pueden variar. Different. Yeah. Yeah, but, can... but, uh, but it's a, it's a, uh, it's a same, it's a better. It's a, okay. Yeah, if you say, I would like to know why the little baby is crying, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay thanks. All right. Do you know if there is any water? Is that okay for everybody? Yeah. If there is any water. Yeah. Do you know if there is any water? In my case, I like to know. Okay, that's okay. Acuérdese que las frases de inicio pueden cambiar. Y esas no me preocupan porque puede ser la que usted quiera usar. Lo que necesito saber es que si después de la frase de inicio, todo lo demás está correcto. Ahora, porque usted puede decir, do you know, could you tell me, I was wondering, is mm -hmm. it okay if, cualquiera de esas puede ir, all right? All right. Okay, next one. Um, could you tell me if he's coming tomorrow? Okay, do you know how many cars he has? Is that okay? She, yes, okay. she has. Como acuérdese que ahí omitimos el auxiliar. Y como vimos uh -huh. el auxiliar, usamos el verbo tercera persona singular. She uh -huh. has. No yeah. podemos dejarla con she have, me va a dar algo. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. Next one. Do you know if they like... You have to remember that if your question is yes, no question, then you use if. They like yes. has. Yes. Okay. Next one. Yes. Could you tell me, oh, could you tell me what she wants? Is that okay? Could you tell me what she wants? Okay. En mi caso, yo utilicé, okay. I would like to know what she wants. Es correcto eso. I would like to know what she wants. Es, es correcto. Ah, very nice, yeah. Acuérdese, vuelvo y repito, eh, las frases de inicio van a variar y eso no hay problema. Ahí es depende de lo que usted quiere decir, si usted quiere saber, si usted se, I don't know, piensa que tal cosa, all right? All right, vamos a ver. ¿Quiénes sacaron todas buenas? Mm. Excelente. Ok, ¿quién sacó ninguna? 
Ninguna buena. ¿Una buena? ¿Dos buenas? Todas buenas. ¿Tres buenas? Three. Ah, Five. vaya, ya ven que no estamos tan mal. De Six tres para arriba está perfecto. Una, una mala nada más. Ah, ok, very good. Let's do another practice. Y es lo que le decía a sus compañeros aquí. Esto nada más nos... Eh, Ups. Esto nada más lo, lo asimilamos bien si lo practicamos. Practice, okay. Practice made perfect. perfect. Excellent. I like that. Thank you so much. I share that with you. Okay. So now I want I want you to take a picture with this. This is the information you're going to take pictures with. Oops. Sorry. Sorry. Espérame, espérame, espérame. Oh, there. You need to use the indirect questions. Pero ellos ya le empezaron el trabajo. Pusieron, can you tell me? Can you let me know if? Can you explain? Please tell me. Usted solo termine lo demás. Okay? Okay. Hold on, just give me a second. Take a picture up to num. Hasta la 10. Trabajemos esas 10 y vamos a ver cómo nos va. Finish? No, teacher. Hold on, please. I can I copy yeah. the hyperlink? Ah, okay. Sí, para llevarse a la una. I can see the, the number 10. You can't see it. Vaya. Thank you. You're welcome. So only from 1 to 10 right now. Ahí le aparece hasta la 12, pero uh, bueno, si puede lograr tomarle hasta la 12 está bien. Si no, hasta la 10. Okay. Finish? No. Carry on, guys. <laughs> pere, teacher. Pere, pere. Pere, se del verbo operar. Pere. <laughs> ya le va a preguntar el Mary, ¿cómo se dice operar? <laughs> Could you operar me, please? Oígalo. Pay me, please. Okay, finished? Finished until 11 number. Yes. Nice. Okay. So let's go back to your groups. Y ve ahí cual, cómo lo va a ir cambiando, okay? To indirect questions. Go now. Váyanse a su grupo, porfa, para que todos estén en el grupo. Walter, ¿qué le pasó? Por eso sí. se la, uh, las logra ver. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Ahora vamos con otro ejercicio. La número uno sería: uh, Where's the station? Where's the station? Eso sí. Can you tell me where the station is? En este caso sí corresponde. Sí, en esta sí. Como es cuando son de lugares, por lo más que todo, creería yo. Sí. Can you tell me where the, the station, station are you coming to the 
party. Are you coming to the party? Can you let me? Can you, can let, me you know? let me know if you are coming? I sadly. Let. Uh huh. And you, uh, if you are coming to the party. Exactly. Because it's present it continuous. Yes, it is. The number three. Number ten already. <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> no, we are not in the How? number ten. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, there is any problem. <laughs> Okay, the number three, how does it work? What is the indirect question for this sentence? Can you explain how does work it? Mm -mm, no. Mm, no. No, no, you are right. Can you explain? I, can you explain? Um how is how it works exactly. excellent very good esmeralda mm -hmm. very good daniel nice mm -hmm. thank you okay number four the number okay for this end oh, to be... oh. i need to know where you from are no no mm -mm. i i like i would like to know where are you from which number are you working on guys number five uh, where are you from i would like to know uh-huh i would like to know where you from are where you are from where, where you are uh, from from where are where you are from mm -hmm. o sea que ahí se cambia no siempre va al final el verbo to be mm -hmm. ok Number six. Yeah. How long does it take to get there? Do you know? You know if you know he 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 takes no. Do you know how long? How long? How long? It takes together. It takes. Do you know how long? Uh huh. It takes together. Takes there there together. you go. Very good, Sylvia. Nice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. El, suprimimos el, el, el auxiliary, ¿verdad? Y right. Yeah. Agregamos el S al verbo. Al verbo, porque se vuelve singular. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Number seven. Seven. Has she has she told you whether if no. And what is the meaning of Richard? Hmm? What is the the what is the meaning of Richard? What number are you working on right now? Seven. Ah, has he reached the decision yet? Ha alcanzado la decisión? Ha, ha llegado a la decisión? Ah. Uh, uh, in weather? Uh, has she told you weather? El weather se puede reemplazar por el if. Quiere decir lo mismo que el if. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Has she told you weather? Uh, has she told you whether if she has? 
reach a decision yet? Mm -hmm. As how you were whether as he reached yet a decision. Oh. Okay, say it again. What she told you uh, whether has she reached? Whether she has reached. Whether she has reached. Has reached. Whether she has reached. A decision yet. Mm -hmm. Decision yet. Okay. Do you have? Mm -hmm. Do you have? Number eight. Do you know the capital of Honduras? Do you happen? Do you happen if you know the, the capital of Honduras? If you know uh -huh. Do you happen if you know if you know the capital the capital of Honduras? I wonder whether I wonder where any new 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 about computer new any any uh, conocer en tercera persona del presente simple I wonder no, la la S. Does any know about no. that? Uh -huh. No, pero, pero esta como es, no, yes, no question. I wonder whether if any uh, knew uh, about computer. I wonder whether if, if any. Uh -huh. Any knew, uh -huh. knew, no. No. No sé qué es. No es que uh -huh. en, en, en pasado. Y ahí mm -hmm. estamos en el presente. Is mm -hmm. any know? about computer if uh -huh, if any no teacher boy tell me what do you say no in present in simple person no for the uh, third person uh -huh. no no for six yeah uh, were any knows about computers what number are you working on right now? Night, ah. night, night. Okay, I wonder whether Annie knows about computers, yes? Uh -huh. If any know, if. Yeah. It, is there a yes or no question? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me, how do you get to the post office from there? Could you tell us? Excuse me, pero ahí ya está, ya está con. No es, ajá, ya está como, pero no es, pero ajá. excuse me. Ajá, excuse pero me. Ajá. 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 Es could you tell us. Ajá, could you tell us how you get to no, the post office yes. from here? How you get to the post office from ajá. here? How you get to the post office? No, no I there. know. How do? How do? Could you tell uh -huh. us? Could you tell us how you get? Mm -hmm. How you get to the post office? From here. Office from here. Trum, trum, trum. 
What are you doing? <laughs> teacher. Doing, teacher. Hmm. teacher. I'm listening to what you. What are huh? you doing? I'm what listening you to doing? you. <laughs> Do you have any idea? No. What you what you doing? Are? <laughs> it's right. Could you tell us? No. Do you have any idea yeah. what you doing are? No. Ah, no. What you are doing? Do you have any idea what you are doing? That's right. Yeah. Uh -huh. You are doing. Okay. Could you let me? Me podría prestar cincuenta pesos, teacher. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't suppose. <laughs> Sorry for you. <laughs> Teacher. Yeah. I have a doubt. A doubt. For the, What's your doubt? Uh, for uh, 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 to chew. To what? Question two. Uh -huh. two. Can you let me know if if, mm -hmm. if you are coming to the party? That's right. Yes. No, pero ¿cuál era la que teníamos duda de que estaba en Gerundio? Esa, ¿verdad? Ramiro. ¿Cuál era? Yo creo que esa era. Can you let me know if you are coming to the party? Yeah, that's Que okay. estabas viniendo. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. No, la que teníamos duda era de la de where are you from? Where are you from? Ah, esta uh, era right. otra. No, pero esta era otra. I would like, I to, like know. to know where you from are. No. Uh, you are from. You are from. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to know where you are from. That's right. Y esa que regla um, ocupo, teacher. Lo que pasa es que le agrego el from. Si le quitara el from, me quedaría, I would like to know where you are. are you? Cierto. Ah. El from es lo que, digamos... El que le da sentido realmente. Ah, el que le da sentido. Entonces, el are, si, si se fija, si lo pongo al final. Lo que pasa es que voy acompañado de la, en este caso, preposición from. Mm, allí sí me quebró, porque allí sí ya me perdí. Sí, Pero es nada más from. con esa. Sí, no es con esa. De hecho, es la que tuvimos duda, ¿verdad, Ramiro? Uh -huh. Pero sí, si usted se fija, nos, nos quedaría, I would like to know where you are. Terminaría you are ahí, from. pero como está el from, le pongo el from al final, porque es una preposición. Sí, que al, al principio sí lo habíamos deducido, pero como siguiendo uh -huh. la red, el, claro. el, el tuve okay. al final. Pero, pero está buena la equivocación. No sé of si course, los lo disculpo. <risa> Tan bella, por eso la queremos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Bye. Bye, teacher. Ajá, ajá. Y por eso no la ves y por eso. <risa> okay, guys, it's time to go, but I'm gonna I'm gonna show you this. Hola. Uh, hola, 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 hola. Okay, uh, it's time to go, but I'm gonna show you the answers. Take a picture of the answers, and then we can discuss that. Oh, oops, on Monday, if you have questions about the exercise, just give me a second here. These are the answers right here. So take a picture, and then you can check it by yourselves. Yes, tell me, Elmer. Eh, yo si entiendo bien la el anuncio de de inglés corporativo es que nosotros la otra semana ten, tendríamos que ver dos unidades, es cierto, la 3 y la 4. Sí, lo que pasa es que acuérdense que son cinco cuatro sí, no, semanas. Por ello, por ello, entonces nosotros al final el jueves deberíamos estar ya completando la 4. Ah, y exactamente. El, y el intermedio de, 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 del test. Ajá. Así, así tendríamos que llevar el tiempo. That's ¿verdad? right, yes. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, take a picture of that para que les quede ahí las preguntas, las revisan y si tienen dudas, we can talk about it on Monday, okay? Yo tengo una duda con la plataforma. Dígame. Teacher, puede darle un poco de zoom a la... Okay, please.
Espérame. Fíjese de que... Ajá. En un ejercicio donde habla de que tenemos que poner more o too much. Uh -huh. Estoy buscando la captura. Entonces, ahí hay que escribir la oración. Entonces, le he escrito de diferentes formas que se me ha ocurrido. Una me la acepta. ¿Qué número es? Eh, um, ah, ya, ya entró a la... Permítame, ya bueno. No puedo reducir. Sí. Bueno, se la voy a, se la puedo mandar al grupo sí, de WhatsApp. Sí, 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 claro que sí. Ok. Alright. Okay, guys. Alright. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So that's those were the answers. I hope you took a picture of those. So I will see you Monday. Okay. Tomorrow, remember, we have no class. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys. Have a very good night. I'll see you Monday. See you Bye. Monday. Bye. 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 Bye.